Leonardo da Vinci has entered popular culture as a pioneer in the field of flight, but perhaps he was not quite the visionary as was thought. Allegedly the first to understand aviation principles, Leonardo is now honored as the inventor of countless flying machines, devices designed to launch man through the air, from parachutes to hang gliders to helicopters. Historian Dr. Tobias Capwell has come to the English county of Wiltshire to investigate the life of one of Leonardo's forerunners, Elmer of Malmesbury. Aylmer was a monk based at the medieval monastery here in Malmesbury. In the early 12th century, another monk of Malmesbury wrote a history of England, and it's in this that Aylmer appeared. He was a man learned for those times, and in his early youth, hazarded a deed of remarkable boldness. He had, by some means, fastened wings to his hands and feet so that he might fly like Daedalus, and collecting the breeze upon the summit of a tower, flew for more than a furlong. <laughs> but agitated by the violence of the wind and the swirling of air, he fell, broke both his legs, and was lame ever after. Plotting Elmer's flight path through the village today shows just how impressive his feat was. He started at a height of 25 meters and flew for a distance of over 200 meters. That's a respectable flight, even by modern hang gliding standards. So he hadn't quite worked out the landing bit, but the flying bit he, he seems to have understood quite well. But the fact remains that Elmer does not manage to stabilize his device. Yet analyzing William of Malmesbury's account, it is clear that Elmer himself realized his fault. He said he forgot to put a tail on it. So centuries before Leonardo is even born, people were beginning to test the principles of flight.